hey, it's that time of the year again. No, not just flu season, but time to figure out how to use this thing again and again and again with an AMD laptop. Let's find out. Using an Oculus on an AMD laptop with the NVIDIA GPU has always been a pain in the butt until pretty much a few months back to when AMD started playing ball and allowed their drivers to start talking to the rest of the computer. This is the ROG Zephyrus G14 laptop running the Ryzen 4900 HS. You can see that I'm running a Ryzen 9 4900 HS with Radeon graphics. That's the APU. And if you take a look under performance, I have the AMD GPU, which is the APU. And I also have an NVIDIA GeForce 2060 with Max-Q as my dedicated GPU on this laptop. That's what creates the issues with running VR on this platform is that AMD, their APU can actually produce VR, but it's very poor. It's not designed to, but it can. So you basically need to have these steps followed in order for AMD to tell it to use the RTX instead of the APU. Okay, and you'll see that this is Windows 11 Home 22H2. These steps should still work on previous versions of Windows 11, up to a point. If not, you'll have to watch my previous videos. My NVIDIA driver is 526.98, and I'm running a RTX 2060 with Max-Q on this laptop. This has been confirmed to work on a G15 with the 3060, 3070 RTX cards as well running AMD processors. If you're running Intel, you do not need to follow any of these steps because it'll just work out of the box as long as you have an NVIDIA card. Okay, so the first step that you wanna do is make sure that you have the AMD software installed for your graphics card. It is an APU. It is the Adrenaline Edition AMD software. Okay, make sure that you go to amd.com, click on Downloads and Support, Drivers, auto detect and install. Yes, install. And let it do its thing. Once you're at the end of the installer, make sure you do not allow AMD to spy on you and launch the software. If it's properly installed, you should be seeing this control panel telling you that you have the current version, everything's up to date, okay? It might be a different version for you, but just make sure that you see that the driver and software is working. You can click check for updates. Don't think it's gonna do anything, but it might one of these times. Okay, next step. Go to the oculus.com slash setup website and download the Oculus Rift software. I already have it installed, but you will have to install it or repair it depending on how far you've gone or just skip this step if you've already installed the software. Now let's fire up the Oculus software and see if it works. Here we are in the Oculus software. Click on devices says that our quest is connected and ready. I'm just gonna set it as the active connection just because I have my dad's Quest 2 on here. Now in your VR headset, you should see something in your quick menu called Quest Link. Make sure you connect your USB cable and then enable Oculus Link. If everything's done correctly, you should start seeing your Oculus Store or a grid, in which case you just hold down the menu button then you'll get your menu to show up in front of you basically recalibrates your view one thing that does not work is your desktop for some reason your desktop does not like to show up it just shows up as a black screen sometimes you can grab the edge of an app by looking at it on your desktop holding down the triggers 
on your right remote and pulling backwards or forwards on the stick. And then you should be able to see any Windows app inside of your Oculus. Kind of weird, huh? If you follow these steps the exact way I just told you, you should not run into any issues. If you're running Windows 11, you will need to reinstall the AMD driver probably weekly because it will automatically update and revert you to a Windows exclusive driver which will mess with your Oculus settings. Okay? So if it's not working, just reinstall your AMD driver. It should work no problem until you have to reinstall your AMD driver again. Um, I don't know if there's a way to pause these updates other than set your Wi-Fi to metered connection inside of Windows and that way it doesn't automatically download the latest drivers that Windows thinks that you need. Other than that, enjoy. Leave your other tips in the comments below and I hope this helps you out. I have previous videos on here. If you're running Windows 10, running older versions of your drivers, it should still work for you that way. All right, so watch for these links to your left and your right. That should show you how to previously do these steps. As of December of 2022, these are the latest steps. Thanks. Enjoy.